welcome to Israel, the home to the holiest city in the world and quite possibly the coolest city in the Mediterranean. If you want to learn more about activities in Israel as well as in the countless other countries, then give the subscribe button a quick click and we'll be on our way. Alright, for our first activity, why don't we soothe those aches and pains at a snake spa? Ah yes, nothing like a slithering snake to banish those aches and pains. And if you're particularly snake friendly, head to the Barak Snake Spa in Northern Israel where you can get a nice little massage by Florida and California king snakes and wrap up your session with some mice on your feet. Definitely not for the squeamish, but worth a try. After what could be a stressful massage, time to relax and float in the Dead Sea. The lowest point on earth is one special place to visit and probably tops any things to do in Israel wish list. If you need to chill out, and especially if you're feeling run down, the Dead Sea is the ideal place in Israel to visit. Bring your favorite book to read while relaxing, smother some of that mineral-rich Dead Sea mud on, and then float on your back in the warm, salty sea. Now for some excitement, time to bang your bongo at Tel Aviv's Drum Beach. Every Friday afternoon, just before sunset, Tel Aviv's Drum Beach turns into the funnest beach in Israel. Watch out for a posse of drummers and performance artists who are likely to turn your Friday afternoon into something a little more fun and interesting. Crowds often gather on the nearby rocks to watch both the performers, the drummers, and of course, the sunset. Alright, next it's time to go into the water to snorkel or scuba dive in the Red Sea. This is a place to go if you want to see amazing coral reef, beautiful fish, and crystal clear water. With great weather practically all year round, this is the place to dust off your snorkel or scuba skills. With that reason, water sports in the Red Sea should definitely make the things to do in Israel checklist. Now, time to get in touch with the country's culture by touring the Old City of Jerusalem. The Old City of Jerusalem is a real must-see, being home to sites of key religious significance, including the Western Wailing Wall, the churches, and the Dome of the Rock, and again, it's probably right at the top of any Israel bucket list. You can easily spend a full day here by exploring the cracks of the huge stones that make up the Western Wall, browsing the stalls in the narrow streets of the Old City Bazaar, and visiting the site of Jesus' crucifixion. Our next activity will have you standing at the edge of the Ramon Crater. Rappling down the cliffs of the Ramon Crater is an unforgettable activity. The stunning scenery of the Ramon Crater is simply breathtaking. Get as close to the edge as you can and jump. And yup, you'll feel that adrenaline. Being the largest crater in the world, it sinks some 500 meters at its deepest point. So rappling will get you an amazing view all the way down. After rappling, why not follow it up with something even more exciting like skydiving over four countries in one jump. That's right, not one, not two, not three, but four countries. If getting your adrenaline really pumping through your veins is on your agenda, try skydiving over Ilat. If you're looking for something just that little bit crazy, this is an opportunity to have a truly once in a lifetime experience as you hurdle earthward while overlooking four countries, Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. From one adrenaline pumping jump, now it's time to take a second to enjoy a sunset on Tel Aviv beach. The gorgeous sandy beach of Tel Aviv is the perfect spot to catch a sunset. Accompanied by your favorite snacks and beverage, time to kick off your shoes and feel the sand between your toes as the Mediterranean laps gently at the shore. You could also wind down the day at one of the many beachside cafes, the choice is yours. This simply has to be on your list of things to do in Israel. Now, one extremely unique thing to do is to visit Aksiv land, the world's smallest nation. Yes, there's another nation within the tiny piece of land we know as Israel. Its name is Aksiv land. Originally created by renowned hippie Eli Avivi, Aksiv land lies next to the ancient port ruins of Aksiv. 
just south of the border with Lebanon. Now, the nation is run by Eli's wife, Rina, and you can stay overnight and even get a symbolic passport stamp as a souvenir from your visit. Definitely a very unique thing to add to your bucket list. For our final stop, let's head out to have a night in the city that never sleeps. In Tel Aviv, the nightlife is legendary. You can find pretty much anything you need for a good night out. There are countless bars and clubs, as well as museums, theaters, galleries, dance centers, and concert halls for the more cultured evening. If you have the energy, Tel Aviv can keep you occupied until the early morning hours, including the many restaurants and cafes throughout the city. During the summer months, try a night out at one of the beachside cafes and bars. An absolute must add to your itinerary for Israel. All right, that brings us to the end of our trip to Israel. Hope you enjoyed the video and the activities. Please like and comment anything that you have tried or would like to try on your next vacation. See you next time when we hop on over to yet another country.